Has anyone else noticed that Jonathan and Susie Lamb have been missing from the Ministry Now program? Seems like about a month now, ever since Doug Weiss took over as the new co-host of the program. So what do you think is going on there? I have my own suspicions, and I'll talk about some of those in another program. But for now, I just wanted to comment on the fact that they've been missing from the program, and Doug seems to be taking the lead there with Joni's approval. Does it have something to do with the over $500 million in assets, which could be a billion dollars, according to Marcus Lamb, before he died, he claimed that the Daystar Network was worth a billion dollars. The tremendous wealth, could that have something to do with, with all of this? Whatever it is, I hope that Jonathan and Susie stick to their guns and take a stand for what is right. They know something. They know something that they don't approve of. Why would a very rich widow want to marry a man that was married for over 30 years, and he is the one that filed for divorce from his wife, Lisa, for what reason remains to be seen. It was claimed by Jimmy Evans that he seemed to endure for many years some kind of abuse from little Lisa, who was much smaller than him. I don't know what kind of abuse it was, but poor guy couldn't take any more. So why is he counseling people? He stated on the Daystar program today on Ministry Now that he was in Colorado last week ministering to the brokenhearted. Well, I wondered to myself, well, how come you didn't minister to your wife, Lisa, to her broken heart. No, you, you dumped her. I, 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 if, I was, if that was my mother, I wouldn't be too happy about this whole situation myself. The show because there's family and stuff and we want to be careful. But when I talked to him, what I was trying to uh, measure was, is this guy just a snowflake <laughs> who's experiencing some problems that he's going to buck out of the chute, you know, trying to find another, an easy answer? Or... Is he being damaged? Is this a person who is stranded in a relationship um, that there's no hope, whatever? And in the conversation that I had with him, I was very quickly convinced that this was a very painful, uh, devastating, damaging relationship that he was in and that he had a biblical reason for leaving. And he endured this now for decades. This is not something that he easily left or quickly left. And so in my heart, uh, after walking with you guys, you guys have been very accountable to me since the very beginning. Uh, this man has been very accountable to me, regularly lets me know what's going on in you guys' relationship. And so